Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to the Healthy Families, Healthy Futures Kitchen. I'm Chef John, and today we're going to make a couple of recipes I think you'll really like. These will go well with tacos or burritos or quesadillas or even a fish dish or even some chicken. Uh, the first one is going to be uh, a mixed vegetable dish called uh, succotash. Succotash is just that. It's just mixed vegetables. Usually it's a, a bean, a corn, and some tomatoes. Um, and you can play around with this as much as you want. You can add things to it. Uh, traditional succotash was uh, baby lima beans and corn and tomatoes. Uh, so this is going to be a kind of a riff on that. And we've done these before uh, different ways. But I like this one because of the flavor profiles that it's going to build. So we're going to get started here uh, right now and uh, stay with us. So over here in my um, over here in my my skillet, I'm going to heat up some oil. This is just avocado oil, about a tablespoon, and I'm going to get that hot. You could use avocado oil. You can use vegetable oil. You could use um, olive oil, whichever you have. Not really, uh, I like cooking with uh, avocado oil the best. From that, when that oil gets hot, I'm going to go ahead and add my, uh, my vegetables. I'm going to cut off, I've got about a half a cup of onions. I'm going to saute. And I've chopped those really fine, very small. I don't want the onions to overpower. If you don't like a long, a strong onion, uh, certainly use something like a green onion or a shallot. And maybe you can hear that actually starting to saute a little bit. I'm also chopped up one uh, orange pepper. I love cooking with the colors. The kids are going to love this because of the colors involved. Very colorful. Always talk to your kids about their colors and what vegetables uh, you can associate with a color. So if the color of the day was purple, how many things that you, can you name that are purple? How about eggplant? How about uh, plums? How about purple sweet potatoes? I'm going to let this cook for just a couple of minutes. We'll just stir it just to kind of keep things moving along. Then I'm going to add my spices and then I'm going to add my beans. This is really quick, something you could do on a weeknight uh, if you needed to get, get something on the table really fast. Maybe saute off a chicken breast or some chicken thighs and then serve this along with it. Or serve this over uh, a fish or something like that. We're going to, this is kind of a part one video uh, in, our, in our next video that we do. Uh, we'll actually be cooking some salmon, and with the salmon, uh, this would pair really well with that. So stay tuned for that. So as my as my vegetables cook, I'm going to go ahead and add some seasoning to this. Um, I've got about a uh, about a quarter tablespoon, uh, quarter teaspoon of garlic powder. Again, season these dishes up your way, whatever you feel like you want to put in it. Um, I actually really like. Mexican or Latin flavors, so that's what we're going with today. And I'm going to add about a full tablespoon of chili powder. Again, this is stuff that you don't have to have. If you'd rather leave it out or you'd rather change it to something else, feel free. Now, this, this, this particular recipe came from our Cans Can Get You Cooking um, series. So everything I'm putting in here is canned. You could use fresh if you wanted to. You could use frozen if you wanted to. But I have a, a can of no salt added green beans that I'm adding. And I'm just going to stir that up really well. And I love the smell of this. This smells so good. And then I'm going to add a can of no salt added yellow corn. This is my no salt added whole kernel corn, as you can see there. And I did not drain that off. 
I'm just going to cook this just like this. So this is going to kind of add some liquid to our um, to our succotash. If you were using frozen corn, folks, uh, you will have to add a little bit of liquid. I would probably say about a half a can. Uh, just put about a half a can of water or stock in that, and then you be, should be good to go. Stir that up really, really well. This is a very quick dish, no big uh, lots to it. Then I'm going to add a can of, uh, in my case, diced tomatoes with green chilies. Uh, you don't have to use the green chilies type. This is also known as Rotel. Um, don't have to do it. Um, if you want to use fresh tomatoes, that's fine too. Like I said, this, this class came from our Cans Can Get You Cooking series. So a lot of times you get cans, canned food for whatever reason in your pantry and you want to use it, this is a great way. When I'm done with this, I'm going to add some cilantro and a little bit of lime juice. So I'll do that when, when it's time to plate up. And I just need to bring this up to a boil, make sure it's all heated all the way through. And then we will, I'm going to turn my heat up just a little bit. And we will continue. This is a great, I mean, look how great and colorful this is. Um, lots of healthy vegetables. You can certainly use fresh or frozen in any of these if you wanted to. Um, your green beans, you would want to blanch if you're using fresh. Certainly could use frozen, which is our second, uh, our second best. If you are going to use, uh, if you are going to use canned, definitely get the no uh, no salt added and let that um, and let those drain and rinse. I did use the, the liquid out of the cans of tomatoes and the corn to give me some flavor to give me some uh, liquid in the dish. So if you are using frozen vegetables, just remember to uh, replace that liquid. You could use chicken stock or water. Lovely, lovely dish. Orange with the peppers, red from the tomatoes, yellow from the um, corn, and green from the green beans. Really vibrant, really pretty. All right, I'm going to bring this up to a quick boil. And then... All right, I'm going to take this off the heat now. And I'm going to um, move my burner out of the camera. You can still see what we're going to do. I'm going to just cut a lemon, a lime rather, in half. And I'm just going to give it a squeeze. So I'm just going to squeeze that right around. And at the plate up, I'm going to garnish this with some cilantro. Okay? And there we have it. Our Latin inspired vegetable succotash or mixed vegetables. Real easy, so good, and very tasty as well. All right. So our next dish is going to be a cauliflower pot as a replacement for a tater tot. Uh, we're going to use uh, some cauliflower. I just took a head of cauliflower and ran it through my uh, food processor. You could chop this up. I used all of the, the cauliflower except the green, the green leaves, excuse me. So I used all the cauliflower except the green leaves. So you can see that it's, it's pretty fine. Um, we're going to mix this with some cornmeal uh, and some egg to make a really nice uh, tot here. And then we're going to bake these off. So in the meantime, I've preheated my oven to 400 degrees and I'm going to spray uh, my muffin tin. Let's see, I'm going to use the small one. This is my, my tot pan, if you will. Uh, this is one I use primarily to make. Uh, tots. I don't make a lot of muffins with this particular pan, um, but I'm going to spray it really well. 
because we want them all to come out just nice. And I'm using a canola oil spray. No fat involved. All right, so I'm gonna set that off to the side. And then we're going to, um, I don't have any, any moisture in this. If you use the frozen cauliflower, the rice cauliflower, you probably want to squeeze out any water here. But since mine was fresh, there, it's, it's pretty dry. Uh, and then basically at this point, you just want to mix everything together. Um, so I'm going to add um, about uh, two tablespoons of chili powder. Um, a tea tablespoon, uh, this was two teaspoons, sorry. A uh, teaspoon of cumin, a uh, teaspoon of salt, then I'm going to add about a quarter cup of plain cornmeal. This is yellow cornmeal, not the self-rising kind, just plain cornmeal. And I'm going to go ahead and mix that up really good all the way through and then I'll add my egg. And you can certainly use your hand here. But I'm not going to do that with the egg. So I'm going to mix my egg up into my cauliflower. And this should start coming together pretty quickly to make little balls, little dough. I'm going to add about a good handful, about a quarter cup, maybe a little bit more of Colby Jack cheese or Pepper Jack cheese, whichever you have. Cheddar would be fine too. Any kind of cheese will work. It's about four ounces, about a half of this bag. And that was the shredded uh, cheese. And you want to try to get those eggs all the way through. Alright, that looks really good. So we're going to just start pl plugging them away into our muffin tin. Oops. So we're going to go ahead and start putting them in our muffin tin. And I think probably the best way to do that is going to be with a spoon. I think you could use a, um, a cookie scoop too as well if you wanted to. Let's see if you make sure you can see that. I'm just going to pack that down in there as tight as I can. And you don't have to worry about these rising up. You can just pack them as tight as you want all the way to the top. I'll clean these up once I get them all uh, filled. Really a nice little snack or a side dish with a, for your tacos instead of tater tots or chicken. We're doing some chick baked chicken for the day.
You could also serve these as a snack and um, with like guacamole or a salsa, something like that. It'd be really nice. There we have them. We're getting ready to pop these in the oven. I've already preheated my oven at 400 degrees. We're going to let these cook for about 15 to 20 minutes and then we'll pop them out and plate up. Okay, we're back and we have brought out our, our broccoli, our, sorry, our cauliflower tots. They look amazing, very golden brown, look a lot like just your everyday tater tot. And we're going to go ahead and put some of these on a plate for us to snack on. Again, just cauliflower, cheese, eggs, and spices. Spray your pan really well. Very tasty, very easy. This whole pan was one head of cauliflower, so um, should not be hard to do. And then on this side, we have our... Uh, our Latin succotash, our green beans, our tomatoes, our corn, really, really tasty. And I'm going to garnish that with a little cilantro on top. In our next video, uh, we will be bringing this back out and using it with uh, our salmon dishes. So stay with us uh, and watch that video as well. Uh, I hope you enjoyed these two recipes. I'm Chef John with the Healthy Families, Healthy Futures Kitchen, and we will see you next time.